Hey guys, welcome to Tech Tricks Tutorial. Today we're going to talk about how to fulfill orders on Shopify manually. It's a step-by-step -step guide to follow easily and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Let's dive right in. Hello and welcome to a new tutorial video. Today I'll be guiding you through the process of manually fulfilling orders in Shopify. Shopify is a wildly used e-commerce website builder empowering small business to create online store and sell products on various platforms. Its tools and features are tailored for efficient product management and sales optimization. Designed specifically for e-commerce, Shopify provides converting themes that enhance your product's appeal and drive sales. Now, fulfilling orders on Shopify can vary depending on the type of store you have. So let's dive into the details and get started. Before you begin fulfilling orders on Shopify, ensure that your store has been launched, remove the password from your e-commerce store as I have done here, and make sure your products are added. Another crucial step in setting up your store is enabling the payments. Head to the settings and ensure your checkout is configured. You can customize the required input fields for shipping and select your preferred payment options. In the checkout section, you can specify the necessary information for shipping, including required input fields, and set up your preferred payment getaways. Shopify allows you to configure various payment getaways, including manual options like cash and delivery, back deposit, money orders, or custom payment methods. Additionally, you can set up a standard getaway such as credit cards or debit cards. Once you have completed these steps, you are ready to move on to the fulfillment section. So let's go on ahead and go to our Shopify store over here. And I have just created a sample product and I'm just gonna make an order for my store so that I can show you guys how to manually fulfill an order that has been placed. So I'm just gonna click the product, let's order two of this bag and go to the checkout and this is where you're gonna put in all the details that you need to complete the order. Let's assume that I have put my information over here and then for the payment, I want to do cash on delivery, so let's click that. And then just click the complete order so that it will be placed as an order. And once you see this page over here, this means that the order was placed and the seller is notified. That means that when I go back to my Shopify store, this order will be in my orders list. So let's get back to my store and verify if it is added. To view your orders list, click the orders shortcut on the left side panel of your screen. And there it is, the order has been successfully placed. As you can see, we have the order number, date, customer's name, total, payment status, and fulfillment status, which is currently marked as unfulfilled. This is precisely how I intended it to be, so that I can proceed to demonstrate how to manually fulfill this order here in Shopify. So to open an order, you can simply click on it. You will then be able to view the items and their quantities. Additionally, this is where you can find information about any pending orders you may have. So to fulfill an order, you can click on fulfilled items. But what does this really mean and how can you proceed with fulfillment? The answer depends on whether you are drop shipping products or handling fulfillment yourself. If you are drop shipping and using services like Deezers or Seiji drop shipping, the process is likely automated. In such cases, your order will be forwarded to your basic supplier seamlessly. However, if you are handling fulfillment manually and warehousing products yourself, the process will be different. So click on these three dots over here and this is where you can hold fulfillment or split the fulfillment. Click on hold fulfillment and over here these are the options where you can select the reason for holding. Usually Shopify does give you alerts when an order is potentially fraudulent so that is another great thing about using Shopify. But if you have some other issues, for example you run out of stock, just click the reason over here and there's more reason to hold the order like the address was incorrect or it could be you are awaiting for payment or other reasons to hold the order. And then we have split fulfillment. Let's say certain products are ready to deliver and certain products that you saw are customized so they might take longer for those products to be shipped. So you can click on split fulfillment and then you can choose item that you want to fulfill first and the second later. You can also send your customer emails that their order would be split up and they would be getting two deliveries instead of one. And below is your payment terms. You have here the subtotal, shipping fee, tax, and the total payment. You can even add payment terms here over in the section. And you can click on collect payment and this is where you can mark as paid the order. Although this order was cash on delivery, you can still mark it as paid. 
Now this order will be marked in only unfulfilled, however it will be marked as paid. Now that we have set up everything for this and we are sure that this is not a fraudulent order, we can now click the fulfill items over here and then you will enter the tracking information that you have sent out the order with. Usually with any kind of courier like UPS, DHL or any kind of postal service that you are using, you are going to get a tracking number and you're gonna use the tracking number and input it for the customer. Like for example, if I input a random tracking number and over here you're gonna select the shipping carrier for that, you have multiple different carrier options that you have available and take note that depending on the location of your business, your postal services are going to differ. So you can select the postal service that applies to you and I'm just gonna click on other over here. Then you can click on the section over here which is the tracking URL. So you can just copy and paste the tracking URL that you receive from your courier. Usually each courier within any country has their own website where you can input the tracking number and track from there. So you can just copy and paste that URL link over and customers can copy their tracking number and track it on the native website of the shipping carrier. You can also create a widget of the shipping carrier and import that into your website. However, those are just extra steps that you really don't need. Now after that, you want to send shipment details to your customer. Click this box over here and it's basically going to enable you to send an email to your customer and it will just provide them with a the basic shipping info. And after that, I'm just gonna click the fulfill items over here and just like that, your items have now been fulfilled. So the order is now completed on my side and the delivery status is pending. Now, once you have your delivery status pending, you can also choose to remove orders or you know, move them to the closed order section. Any item or any order that is paid and fulfilled will be moved to the closed order section over here. However, if you encounter issues with closed orders, you can create a new view. Just click this plus sign button over here. It could be perhaps a section for returns or exchanges, you know, addressing potential customer concerns. And once the view is added, you can then add those orders to this new section. In this way, fulfilling orders on Shopify becomes easy, effective, and simple. It enables you to manage your business efficiently. If you are using dropshipping suppliers, fulfilling items is straightforward, just create automation. Typically with platforms like Deezers or any other direct link to Shopify, the order automation process is automatic. This means that any prepaid order is automatically fulfilled. You can also take additional actions such as printing the order page, generating the packing slips, processing returns, and issuing refunds, even after your order is fulfilled. And with that, we reached the end of this video. I hope I have been able to help and make a difference. If you have any ideas or suggestions, please feel free to comment down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye and take care.